YouTube, I'm Ross White, welcome to the channel, and today we have a Moff Hatter interview again. So this one, I think it's bizarre in this interview, and this is Untold Stories of Eminem and Proof, R.I.P. Before the End, D12. D12. So, I mean, it makes you wonder why there's so many podcasts and things and D12 members all doing podcasts, especially when they've got this supposedly rele new release of an album of unheard content coming out so i'm very much looking forward to that so uh, it's 10 minutes long guys i thought we'd do this video because obviously we've been doing a lot of d12 videos and also it'll be nice to hear some stuff maybe we've never heard before so before we start this today's video guys make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment down below get involved in them chats guys thank you very much for all the support on the channel so far subscribing views likes comments people chatting in them comments always great to see um also there will be a name change on the channel so videos might be a little bit intermittent at the moment so don't unsubscribe and for those of you subscribing uh videos will go back to the reg regular scheduled programming very soon because there's a lot i need to do to change the channel name so without further ado guys let's get into today's video there's one specific occasion he was nice oh. for a minute. Yeah, he was nice. Now he coming at my ass. He got me oh, warmed up. Oh, man. Yeah, you battle somebody called Undertaker? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Tell, you want to tell that story? Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, Undertaker, he's, he's be my rap partner. He was rap partners for right. a second. And, uh... Damn, um, we had broke up for like five years, and uh, shit, people was going around town saying it was this rapper and Undertaker that was dope. I didn't know it was my old rap partner. Right. And then uh, when I finally seen him and shit, he was like, you? I'm like, you? So he was talking shit, so we, we set up a battle. We made some flyers up, and uh, we had a battle. And I just remember uh, he went first. And he actually, right. he actually, took, he he got in my ass. You know what I'm saying? He came, he came with a devastating ass verse. Got in my and, ass. And uh, I was so so stung. I, I literally forgot my my lyrics. You know what I'm saying? My first verse. And I was like, and I and I just I was stuck. You stuck. And Marshall looked at me and was like, Papa Doc, and just jumped in and just slaughtered him. Slaughtered him. Yeah, that's the real story. Man. <laughs> Only because you got me drinking this shit. I wasn't drinking this shit. I probably lied. So we've all seen the the movie Eight Mile, where you know Eminem chokes up on stage, but it looks like Bizarre's done it, and Eminem jumped in and did the biz for him, did the busyness for him, and his boys back. <laughs> Let's keep drinking. Let's, Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to good friends. What was it? What was it like when you heard Stepping Stone off that Kamikaze album, when, which has been called Eminem ending D12? Uh, I I had heard it already. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard it in the studio. I I ain't feel no type of way. You know what I'm saying? Uh. You know, the group hadn't been together for years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, you know, ever since Proof passed away, it was, you know what I'm saying, never, it was never the same, you know what I'm saying? Denon was a, he a big, a lot of people producer. don't know, Denon is a big producer. Fire He too. did 50 Cent, show you how to mm -hmm. stunt. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was never, he never really wanted to tour. So Proof passed away. M don't tour like that. He do like maybe 10 dates a year. So it was always like a, a three-man group. So it was never the same, you know what I'm saying? So and I was like that for years. So, I mean... Yeah, it's got to it's gotta hit you hard as well because, I mean, I remember when D12 came out and I absolutely loved him and I was so gutted when Proof died and it just... Act, it, it was like that after Proof died, just did, did nothing of him. Like they obviously really, they must have released a few tracks after that that they'd already recorded, but they they basically just fell off the map because of it. And obviously there was a 
Obviously, it hit them all hard. Hit them all hard. Wasn't shocked or surprised about it, but you know, but hearing it and in the studio, but then actually hearing like it come out and people, the fans being so sad, that was that was kind of different. But I, yeah, I had already heard it before though. Yeah. That's still like no conversation or just the group just kind of faded out and. Um, it it was Proof's baby. You know what I'm saying? I see. And 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 it was a it was an all star group. It was it was like all of us was in different cliques. You okay. know what I'm saying? I remember. So it was like an all star team that just became good, and then just decided, all right, we all you know become a crew. But you know, I had solo albums out way before D12 and shit. Yep. So who picked y'all? Proof. Who picked all y'all together? Yeah. M just trusted him to pick y'all, and then M, M, M got picked too. Yeah. Oh, M got yeah. picked. It was supposed to be twelve <clears throat> niggas, twelve okay. niggas, but we couldn't keep twelve niggas just falling off, and you know what I'm saying, and not showing up to meetings. Was that shit. inspired by Wu Tang? Them having such a large number of people. Uh, was Wu Tang out then? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Wu Tang was like ninety. 293, right? Yeah, they oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah,
fucking like old three, three. four like wow that's crazy you know what i'm saying like early in the game bro like I was, I was telling Canavo about that shit. He, he remembered that shit vaguely and shit, but I was just like... Now, that show was 04. It was 04? I'm, I'm almost positive. You, you, was, you was there? I mean, bro. You was probably... Yeah, but we... we yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, because when I did the interview, that's when I... That, that was after... That was after the Up in Smoke tour. After the tour. And you had went on tour with... with right. Right. I, I'm, I'm, I want to say that was... No, I think that was Up in Smoke tour. That was dope. That was, that was up our first smoke tour. Up in Smoke tour was like... No, I'm talking about just, I'm talking about Don Hills. Okay. I yeah. want to say that was 03. Was, I, re, I remember you hosting that. Yeah, I mean, I hosted it. Proof came shit. in the room and tackled me yeah, as I'm trying to do the interview. Yeah. 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 Proof, Proof came in the room and tackled nigga, the man. shit out of me. It and started I, like wrestling. And I'm, I remember, I remember Proof was doing the Blaze, the Blaze battles out there. Oh, God. <laughs> Times is different, yo. He got, he got booed because, because he was smoking this chick. I don't remember Shorty name. This was a long time ago. Yeah. But he was, sh- this is this is a different time. Like, right. nowadays it's whatever. Like, yeah. all, all bets is off. You say what I say, you you know, it is what it is. Right. But this is, this is, this that wasn't. Dog in this, this is, this is the woman's, the chivalry days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga proof went up there disrespecting this shorty, bro. And shorty was sh- big trash, bro. She was big trash, but off the fact that proof was just saying a foul shit. Digging her back out. <laughs> so niggas got mad. And they kind of try to start booing him, but Shorty was whack. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. But it, off the fact that he was so disrespectful, and they were that, that that's bef- that was before the, before that oh, was, it was yeah. that was before crowd. that was acceptable. It was a petty crowd. Yeah, so they gave it to Shorty, and I'm like, Do you remember uh, Proof's uh, Ultimate Battle? Like the nigga, he was he wanted to battle worse, more than anything in the world. Nah, who? He chased his dude down for like four years until <laughs> he finally battled him. Just. I wanted y'all to guess. Chased him down for four years to battle him. Juice? Not Juice. He's higher than Juice. Higher than Juice? Supernat? Supernat. Yeah. Wow. Chased him yeah. down for four years to battle days. him. Proof said he, he said he lost, but he said he went with him for like five Yo, rounds. Yo, Nat used to fucking, Nat, Nat used bad. to live, live in the hood. Yeah. Back when real? I was these kids, like. But we, is he, he really incredible off the top? I, I, that's all he, that's all he does. Yeah, yeah. That's, all he that's, does. that's, that's what his legend you're, you're comes written from. You're ready to no written? No, I seen him at EO Dub. And Super Nat, like, when, we was, was, when we was coming up, okay. when we was coming up, like, so we used to all look up to Super Nat. You never battled him or nothing, right? No. Okay. He lost the juice. Super Nat? That's the only person well, I that, ever that, remember. That was, that was, that was Bob, Bob. Or was, or was that, oh, Craig, I'm thinking Craig, of Craig G. G. I'm thinking of Craig G. Craig G is super now. I don't remember Super G. Yeah, Craig That's G is super now. That's was Craig G. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of Craig G. I said Juice. Which Craig G you're talking about? From Quinn. The Craig G. Oh, Craig G. Yeah. Juice crew. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just making sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just making oh, sure. It's two of them. Please. It's in two of them. It's in two of them. DJ Craig G. Remember the mixtape DJ Craig G, don't? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. 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 I'm fucking crazy. This is hot for trap trap to That's it. But, uh, that. Right, let me just make yourself bigger. Yeah, so that interview was well worth watching just to hear the story about when Proof got shot. I just. Ne- I, I never knew the whole story at all. And also. The story about Bizarre choking up on the mic and Eminem just jumping in, that's good to hear as well, ain't it? But apart from them two stories, they weren't really a lot of Eminem and Proof stories. It was mainly uh, Proof stories. <laughs> he chased down someone for four years to try and battle rap on. That's how much he obviously loved Love the battle rap scene, but yeah, I digress again. But that's it for today's video, guys. So if you like what you see, don't forget hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below, get involved in them chats. Don't forget there's a name change on the channel, so videos might be a little bit intermittent at the minute, but they will return to the regular scheduled programming. I do apologize very soon, so stay tuned and enjoy the channel, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.